Hello. Uh, continue talking about um, coding with Google Mobile at Unity SDK, and we're going to talk about interstitials. Actually, there is um, two general ways how to use interstitial. Um, after you set up it correctly, uh, you may use um, interstitial function uh, of Google Mobile at actually there is only three of them, which is start in the uh, start interstitials, load, and show. Uh, when you're using start interstitial ad, uh, this function will send requests to Google uh, to request interstitial content. As soon as content is available and downloaded to your device, the interstitial banner will pop up. So that is the simplest and the easiest way to use interstitial. All you have to do is just call one function, start interstitial ad, uh, and in a few seconds you will see the banner is pop up on your device. But actually, minuses of these methods, if uh, the delay uh, before you cut in there, start interstitial ad and you see in the banner. Uh, because you have to wait until the request will go to Google, it will answer, download it, some content. And if and speed, of course, depends from Google servers, from ad content, from uh, internet connection of um, your device and so on, so on, so on. So uh, that is, as I said, simplest way, but there is an answered way. Uh, actually, you can use the load interstitial ad, which will do fairly the same that start interstitial ad, but it will not show the uh, interstitial banner as soon as it is available. Uh, as you remember, you can uh, actually listen for interstitial events, adding them on Google Mobile Ad Controller and we do have on interstitial ad loaded event uh, so basically you should call load interstitial ad listen for the uh, interstitial ad loaded event and probably on this function to set some flag that interstitial is ready to show and you can now show it anytime you want to so basically after the interstitial ad is loaded because you got the seven uh, you can use show interstitial ad, which will uh, show the ad absolutely immediately. Well, that's it. There is just two general ways uh, how to use interstitial ad. And you may also want to look on the events and experiment with them uh, to find out what uh, actually new information you can get using this event. You can find out if ad was loaded, if it was some problem loading the ad, probably some internet connections or other issues, when ad was open, closed, or left your application. So um, that's it. So good luck with your project, and thanks for buying my stuff.